vitamin C and antibiotic combination outperform anti-cancer drug by 100x. Researchers have uncovered the stunning revelation that taking antibiotics along with vitamin C, ascorbic acid, could be dramatically more potent against cancer than anti-cancer drugs, and without the side effects. The study was conducted by University of Calabria of Italy researchers as well as researchers from the University of Salford and University of Manchester in the UK. The team took a two-pronged approach to treating cancer stem cells in the lab using vitamin C and antibiotics, and the results were incredible, to the tune of being 100 times more effective than anti-cancer drugs. Vitamin C plus antibiotics packs potent punch against cancer stem cell growth. The experiments all took place in a laboratory using human breast cancer stem cells. The antibiotic doxycycline was used in combination with ascorbic acid, vitamin C. While doxycycline was effective in killing many of the cancer stem cells on its own, other cells became resistant to the antibiotic. However, these antibiotic-resistant cancer stem cells were then killed by the vitamin C. The next step will be to try this combination on animals that have cancer, and then on humans. The researchers would also like to study how the antibiotics and vitamin C interacts with other cancer treatments before recommending the approach with humans. The study results were published in the peer-reviewed journal on Target. Antibiotics inhibit the power centers of cancer cells, while ascorbic acid, vitamin C, induces cell death. Stem cells are capable of developing into any type of cell that a tumor needs to sustain itself and grow larger. Cancer stem cells are different from other cells in that they are able to produce energy from glucose using a number of different of pathways. This is why stem cells are able to replicate and grow more efficiently and effectively than normal cells. Most stem cells also stronger mitochondrial properties. This allows the cell to readily convert available glucose into energy with the use of oxygen. The antibiotic doxycycline inhibits protein production, which is essential for the mitochondria to work effectively. Ceasing protein production in cancer cells allow the cells to be killed more easily because they can't produce the energy to sustain themselves. Even more evidence of the power of vitamin C. The effectiveness of vitamin C against cancer is already well documented, especially if given in high doses or in the form of liposomal vitamin C. Vitamin C is able to kill cancer cells selectively while not damaging normal cells. It is safe and has no negative side effects. While high doses of vitamin C are already used to help fight cancer, pairing vitamin C with antibiotics is showing promise for making its cancer-killing properties even more effective. Be sure to get plenty of this powerful antioxidant through diet and supplementation to support your immune system and reduce your risk of cancer going forward. Papaya leaf juice successfully used for anemia, viral infections and overall good blood health. For thousands of years, herbal medicine extracted from herbs and plants, like papaya, has been a key pillar of Ayurvedic, Indian, Chinese, European and Native American medicine, not to mention a host of other traditional medicine systems. And while medicine as a field has evolved and many of these herbal remedies have gone mainstream, extracted, processed, packaged, patented and marketed as drugs-alternative medicine is certainly still alive and well. One plant that has served as a popular source of herbal medicine over the centuries is the Karaka papaya. Different parts of the papaya plant have long been used as ingredients in folk medicine, including the fruit itself, the dried version of it, seeds, leaves, dried leaves, as well as the roots. These have all been used as treatment for a wide range of diseases, and now there appears to be another breakthrough. Is papaya a panacea for viral disease? It was back in 2009 when researchers at the Asian Institute of Science and Technology first established that papaya leaf juice for low platelet count works effectively for patients suffering from dengue fever. Dengue fever is a viral disease transmitted by mosquitoes and affects millions globally, and one of its major symptoms is thrombocytopenia, a medical term for low platelet count. As with almost every other study, the initial research was conducted on mice, comparing papaya leaf to a placebo. The researchers found that the papaya leaf suspension contributed to a significant increase in the animal's platelet count. Papaya leaf juice for low platelet count in humans. This was later replicated in a human case in 2011, where a liquid extract of papaya leaves was shown to significantly raise the level of platelets in a patient suffering from dengue fever in as little as 5 days. 
The Evidence-Based Complementary and Alternative Medicine Volume 2013, 2013. Article Idaho 61673 also revealed some key findings in April of 2013. The report showed that consumption of Carica papaya leaf juice accelerated a rapid increase in the platelet count among patients suffering from dengue fever, grade 1 and 2, as well as in patients suffering from the more severe, and fatal, dengue hemorrhagic fever. This followed a randomizing controlled trial by the Institute for Medical Research and the Tenku Ampu in Urahima Hospital which involved 228 patients at the hospital. Half were subjected to standard treatment, while the other half administered with a small dose of fresh carico papaya juice, 50 grams, for three consecutive days. The experimental group was observed to have a significant increase in platelet count, after the three-day period, compared to those in the control group. More recently in 2016, the Journal of the Association of Physicians of India officially declared that dengue fever patients who consume the leaf extract from the carico papaya plant can increase their platelet count considerably. This was after carrying out a study to test an Ayurvedic preparation of the leaf juice. The June 2016 edition of the journal also carried the findings of two studies that reinforced the argument that papaya leaf juice for low platelet count indeed is an effective cure for patients suffering from dengue fever. One study was placebo-controlled and comprised 300 patients spread across five centers in Bengaluru, while the second study involved 400 patients in the Indian city of Jaipur. The results were so convincing that the doctors went as far as to write an editorial appreciating the two randomized studies. Natural remedies come in two shapes. One is by eating a diet comprised of foods known to boost platelet count. These are foods mostly rich in vitamins, four types of vitamins to be exact, vitamin B12, folate, vitamin B9, vitamin A, and vitamin K. Using papaya leaf juice for low platelet count is the other potential natural option which has been shown through multiple studies to be effective. This could be administered in either of two ways. One is through homemade extraction, either by juicing or blending the papaya leaves, or boiling the leaves to make papaya leaf tea. The second way is to go for natural, organic supplements from established sources, and these could come in several forms, most notable being tablets, capsules, or a papaya leaf syrup. Papaya leaf juice for low platelet count has successfully passed the three stages of research, the first involving lab tests on rats, followed by experiments on human beings, and thirdly, Experiments on Human Control Groups Health Benefits of American Ginseng American ginseng is a potent herb that has many health benefits. It acts as an antioxidant, enhances brain function, protects against cancer, and is anti-diabetic. American ginseng, Panax quinquefolius, is a herb that grows mainly in North America. This particular ginseng is in such high demand that it has been declared a threatened or endangered species in some states in the United States. People take American ginseng for stress, to boost the immune system, and as a stimulant. Ginsenocides are the active components of ginseng and are usually found in the root extracts. Ginsenocides have antioxidant properties and can also help protect the brain. 1. American ginseng has antioxidant effects. Ginseng and ginsenocides have an antioxidant effect that is manifested as a decrease in oxidative stress. Ginsenocides RG2 and RH1 protect from oxidation-induced impairment of red blood cell membrane properties. Ginseng polysaccharide is effective in the regulation of energy metabolism and protection of mitochondria. 2. American ginseng enhances brain function. American ginseng and ginsenocides enhanced cognitive performance and mood. Administration of American ginseng to healthy young adults enhanced working memory, calmness, and mood. Ginseng and ginsenocides can rescue nerve cells by increasing cell survival, extending neurite growth, and rescuing neurons from death both in human patients and cell cultures. Ginseng and ginsenocides also showed beneficial effects on disease models of Parkinson's and Alzheimer's diseases. Long-term ginsenocide administration to mice prevented memory loss or impairment. 3. American Ginseng Protects the Heart In the United States, American Ginseng is a popular herbal supplement for patients suffering from heart disease. It can prevent heart attacks as well as high blood pressure. The antioxidant properties of the herb may be producing its protective effects. American Ginseng Extract had a stronger antioxidant activity than Asian Ginseng Root. 
The root and berry extracts both showed antioxidant and protective effects in cultured heart cells. 4. American ginseng has anti-diabetic effects. Insulin resistance and impaired insulin secretion can cause type 2 diabetes. Both American and Asian ginseng root lowered diabetic effects in mice. In healthy humans, it also lowered diabetic nerve and heart damage. 5. American ginseng protects against cancer. Another pharmacological activity of American ginseng and its constituents is cancer prevention as well as its inhibition of tumor growth. Ginseng extract enhanced the chemopreventive effect of a cancer drug in human colon cells. It also improved cancer-related fatigue and produced radioprotective potential in the cells of healthy individuals. 6. American ginseng has anti-inflammatory effects. Several ginsenocides such as Rode, RG1, RE, RG3, RH2, and Airbay 1 can control brain inflammatory responses in cultured brain cells. The anti-inflammatory effects might be related to the antioxidant property of ginseng. It also suppresses inflammation in the colon and prevents DNA damage from occurring. 7. American ginseng ameliorates withdrawal symptoms. Ginseng can reduce the behavioral and physiological responses to addictive drugs and ameliorate the withdrawal symptoms. Pseudoginsenoside F11, a saponin contained in American ginseng, effectively reduced anxiety, depression, and memory deficits and alterations of monoamine contents in mice brain, 